Here you see two guys. One spot marking the tires for removal, spot making, marking the rail with paint. Fish points on the frog should never be allowed to reach condition of cross ties for the class, class 2 track. One ties marked for the removal or replace replacement ties shall be in inspected prior to the installation of the compliance of the applicable AARA standards and federal specification of damage that deterioration while in the storage while being handled. 9311.4 ties spacing the tie quantity and spacing of the base of the roadbed conditions, trackage category, rail size, anticipated load, inspection of the engineering judgment, inspe installation criteria for the new construction rework work track it should be specified for each uh, section of the base of the current instruction design standards for needs and economy at 3.11.5 spacing of the spot replacement of the, the, within the wooden tie spacing will not be changed however the face to face separation between the ties shall be at least 10 inches when but less than 16 inches and skews, skewed ties shall be straight in, in spacing and general replacement when the replacement of wood in wood ties standards spacing shall be designed at 22 to 24 ties per 39 feet running track and 20 to 22 ties per, per 39 feet of lower use of trackage in case there's an, in case there shall be no t less than 18 ties per 39 feet present of the section of the track the high spacing will be used and except for the variation of the speed of the cross section Placement makes it impractical. Figure 322 illustrates such a gauge of welded to the shovel. Proper spacing of the concrete ties are to be determined in the qualified engineer. 311.7 skewed and skewed ties and having an excess of the perpendicular rails except for the turnout. Rails of skewed distance is shown by figure 323 as is measured along the base of the rail. The guideline guide slide measuring the skewed distance may be made by the checking of the gauge and however the visual ch check at the track system and the inadequate spotting of the over half of the width of the tie out line can be easily done while working on the ride of the tracking system for skewed and ties are not serious sections of the trackage skewed ties indicated the problem that there should be investigated 311.8 align the ties with placing standard length of white wood ties and double tracks align the outside and the end of the ties for the three or four more tracks aligned out of the side of the end of the out tra out of tracks align the entire eyes of the inner at tracks of the sign same of the single track for the single track of the align the east ends of the north south track and the north ends of the east west tracks out of the under length of wood ties shall be centered under the track here there are tie spacing in the gauge weld with a sh gauge welded to shovel Here you see what, um, what terminology identification uh, inside the rail, inside the base of the rail, the skew distance is high face of the ties, the skew ties 90 degrees in maximum spacing, 90 degrees standard wood tie and 8 and a half, 8.8 and 6 inches across and what looks like to be an edge zero to the procedure in general type tie replacement and traffic volume and availability of tr alternate track may de de dedicate dictate the replacement of replacement procedures when it when the track can be removed of space services without interruption of functions completely to removal replacement programming is re recommended and verified reference line and gray of existing trackage removal of the rail and the tires new construction grade ballast and salvage excess ba ballast and replace the ties and railing rail by breaking bringing the track to proper alignment grade and surface if the track cannot be removed from the service replace it any of the main many ties of one type of the tracks permits 3.11.10 procedure is the spot replacement following the guidelines of applicable usable usual spot replacement program 311.10.4 wooden and ties shall be aid in hatred to the side down 3.11.10.5 spike wooden tails of the rails properly engage both Concrete ties of the rails after placing the bearing pads. 3.11.10.6 tap belts under the tie. 3.11.10.7 avoid rising the tie. Rising the track because of the ballast may be under the adjacent ties. Instead, instead of raising the track, remove the little bit from the ballast under the ties being removed from the facility. Facility the placement of the new tie. 3.11.10.8 tamp under the adjacent ties when on there shown as the evidence being cut. On, or by the rail base. The adjacent ties will be carry out, carry more of the load. 311.10.10 tie plates will be used and running in the access heavy use of classification yard trackage. The plates shall be 
required for temporary trackage except for the bridge tre trestles and culverts over the curve sharper than 80 or 8 degrees maximum radius of 717 feet the 3.11.10.10 add, add avoiding adding adsiding tides and adjust the time of set ballast to the lower highest high tides when adsiding and avoid is unavoidable when where different different tides must be made must be used where adsiding is required to correct the damage from a diurnal disease the only the minimum de depth then make a field application of preserv preservative fill unused and spike holes of the treated soft wood plugs firmly driven in the holes 311.10.12 salvage all sounds and tie spikes and tie plates on appropriate reuse and disposal unused unsound and ties on unusable mater materials Section 4, re rails and accessories. Design 3.12 General. Design and specification of rails and accessories should be in accordance with the area standards, Chapter 2 and Section 1, and the repair, maintenance, work, and important to match the existing design, material, construction, whether economical or justifica justifi justifiable in case of an individual individual rail replacement whether an existing does not meet the standards and criteria here and whether a remaining track performing satisfactory same size rails should be instead of rails must be connected at the joint of the rails as continuous girded within the uniform surface and alignment rails accessories obtained by the suppliers and storage should be inspected before they are in the place in, in the track 3.13 and in standard railroad Rail, there must be excitingly substandards as military installation consists of 30 to 33 feet. Figure 21, 21 in paragraph 3.31. Rail required replacement of the worn or substandard trackage and normal 39 feet unless the sufficient justification for the using of the shorter rail or 90 pound yard RAA R A section of 39 feet length is satisfactory in most military installations except from when the loading of spacing and support is required on heavier rail. Rail heavier rail will be routinely used in meeting the minimum requirements of serving railroad locomotives are used in installation when become necessary relayed existing ninety pound lighter than the running rail access track so in desire for me to use a hundred and fifteen pound rail approval must be secured by the appropriate military service headquarters with three point thirteen twelve grade line level crane rails grain level crane shall be less than one three five pounds of CR from major replacement new installation 313 or 3 elevated crane in the railway section to be used as crane shall be recommended for the crane manufacturer equivalently existing rail rail section accommodatable by crane wheels 313 the girded rail wheel will shirted hit, shirted street railroad type of the deep well web heads of the flangeways are often in the trackage it is in the pavement of figure 324 and figure 423 in the chapter 4 it shows the installation of the girded rail in the pavement area flangeways is two and a half inches which shall be provided by the tangent track on the curves and eight inch degrees under the flangeways of two and three quarters of an inch while on the wide of the curves in excess of the eight degrees three quarters of an inch in railway inspection and they should be periodically checked and sometimes all defective and detected visible in some hitting type of the rail uh, with a hammer and internal defects it requires some time electronic devices to determine the type of defect and figure 325 and shows the sun defect detectors that can be used as detect effects in the joint bar area and some small ultrasonic tester in figure 326 visually are detected in the magnetic introduction pot process here is the detailed greater garter wall, the inside joint ball and the garter, girded rail and the outside joint bar. The rails, the weight of the rail of the pound 128 at 7, 7 inches and by 6 inches by 6 inches of a quarter 149 and 149 pounds by 7 tenths, 7 inches and 6 inches and 6 3 quarters of an inch and 159 inches by 95 feet 3 quarters of an inch and 5 7 of an inch, inch one seventy hundred and seventy four by nine feet by five three quarters of an inch and five seventy eight have been skirt guard rail to be used in the opposite uh, girded rail frog. Here is the inspecting of the rail flaws with a sonic detector. Um they're looking for smashing creaked heads and stuff like that. Um ultrasonic rail detector, these pictures aren't so great. 
Three unit hit 315 is a real failure. The damage extends to the being hazardous. The track should be replaced promptly, and that pro applies practically to the location of the switches and trestles. And likely to deploy the railment may accord to the bro broken rails and must be re replaced immediately. Any part of the track common cause of the damage to the rails or derailment, sliding wheels, locked in during braces, and broken flea flat and unbalanced and its wheels stiff or unmoving trucks internal fissure, fissures can be detected only though the use of ultrasonic tested devices some others are for rail flaw detectors 316 the common rail defects Figure 320, figure 327 shows a figure of graphics following, following, showing, following the defects. Appendix B in the chapter 7 given an additional description of accountable, acceptable limits and remedial action to be taken in transverse fissures, transverse fissures and crosswise break in the head, rail head and starting in the center and the nucleus and side, side of the head and spreading outward in the broken rail, a smooth area around the nucleus, which may be either in the bright or dark. 3.16 the compound fissures, compound fissure is a horizontal split of the railhead spreading turns either for during the head down speeding either up or during the head a horizontal split head a horizontal split head begins in inside the head of the rail and spreads outward and usually indicates that outside of vertical lengthwise seamed and cracks to so the flow of the flow of the metal vertical split head a vertical split split lead occurs in the middle of the lead, head of the cut cracks of the rust and shows that under the, the head of the claw clasp of the web pieces of the split of the side of the head, crush head, and crush head, and flat and crushing stone of the head, a split web split with lengthwise cries and crack, cracks extended into the root through the web. The pipe rail, a pipe rail is a rail split vertically, usually in the web. Broken base, a broken base is illustrated in figure 327.i, square angular bar, and square, and square angular break, a square angular break is illustrated in 3.27329, broken base and web, bolt, hole and break, a bolt broken base and a web breaking in the web extended in the base other defects in addition to the defects listed in the flat faking and the silver is flowing in the engine burn male defect and hole crack top and side wear of the bed are shown in figure 327k most of these are considered a minor it's 317 replacement of the rails for rails and replaced in charge on the following year supply in 3.17 inspection before placing any rail in inspection thoroughly and purpose and value to picture 317 truth do not place the badly worn rails and rail running running tracks save them for the use of storage tracks rejects the guy it cannot be straightened 317.3 curved worn rails reset the curved worn rails and worn slide and facing away from the gauge the side curves of the worn rails are long or low inside and the caught rail caution this type of uh, type of use is not recommended in changes in stress it can use cause fa failure weight of the section when the weight of the section amount of the wear of the adjacent rails is clearly as predictable do not correct the rails for the full heads of the rails or the worn heads of the gauge of the trackage points that alter irritated applicability compressed joints when the necessity of the rail is different between weights of the section connected to the comparison of the match of the weights of the sections of two rails can compromise the joint of either right and her left hand determine the need for the figure three and three for 331 large rail is other than um, the right large rail is on your left and the joint is is on the left hand is on your right and is the right hand 317.6 do not use a rail be less than 13 feet long running an access track is classification receiving yards whether it's considering movement of the cars reserved and as such rails Maybe dead in stores track for extreme ends of sub tracks. 317 and 17th broken cracked rails. Remove the broken cracked rails from the track immediately if it is not feasible. And to replace the broken rail rail at once and use the pair fully bolted and jolted bars are broken on the emergency pair measure and remove the broken defective rails as soon as possible. Drilling bolt holes, drill punching in the full number of the correct of the bolt holes inside it with the hole. Holes of the joint bars and use and hold the joint bars in place of the clamps while in the bolt holes are drilled and ensure the correct spacing. Um, figure 3.32, 3. 317.19 3. fracture. Traffic precautions is rail, if a rail is broken and defective safety is normal, question, questionable given slow orders of sectionable track on move trains or direction of flag may never use. 
there, these measures as hazardous location stop traffic and defective rails are replaced. 3.17.10 Cutting rail. As soon as possible, remove the rails where they have been cut at access a sanitating torch and making temporary closure and cut off the le least six inches of the torch rail, end of the rail, and rail saw. Figure 3.34 Cutting the tools of, before the use of the rail of the track again. Here you see all the mouths of the of the, of the track. You see a transverse fissure in there, and a compound fissure, a high horizontal split head, a vertical split head, a crush head, the heads and the web separation, split web, pipe pipe rail, broken base. Square break, flaking, silvers, burn, flow, load, mill deflect, bolt hole, crack, head and tap wear, general bear race, general rail, head slide and wear. A vertical split head, you see a square. Square break in the rail, a broken base in the web. Here you see the whole way to stand, a compromising joint. You know, there's your foot stance, you got your rail X and your rail V outside joint bar mark out on the guard side, joint bar mark edge and gauge. You see the same thing on the rail Y and rail X and the gauge and the outside joint bar and the guide side is joint. 3.18 weld and rail replacement. In continuous weld rail minimum 13 feet should be maintained between the welds and joints. The method of the weld preheated thermite in process or another improved procedure joint bars are required. On the welded rails, there are existing bolts, existing bolt holes in the rail. The joint bars are mandatory if there are the joint bars are mandatory if there are bolt holes in either place of the rail being used in new broken replacement new or rail being used as a new replacement works. So existing rail hold not is usually at the end of so such as the bolt holes, old gauge rail rod holes may be maintained as provided as there are no other potential serious defects in the immediate area. This shows the war, how a work train works on a restrictions on a, it goes from a restriction signal to a process signal through the direct train of Y station Y farther than necessary to ensure the proper reduction speed to a slow track area back and forth uh, around well down and to the C the per into G into O the preceding signal and then to Y and then back to the direction of the thing the farther than necessary to ensure the procedure redu reduction speed a slow traffic area at 150 feet. Um, handle 3.19 handling care must be taken to the handling ra rails, both removing old rep rail replacement, delivering and pacing the new rail. Precautions take the care not to change the damage or rail anchors. Removing the rail from the track crane shall be used and loaded and uh, used in loading rails with the weather is available in most in installation maintenance and is necessary to load carry a rail hand. Rail by hand. Rail tongue shall be used in the following precautions observed. 319 divide, divided the gang equally to end ends of the rail. Utilize, utilize suitable lifting tools. Distribute the weight safely and do not overload the crew by 75 pounds per man. It is recommended maximum load. Assure the safe footing and lifting and properly ba back kept straight and safe toe shoes and be worn down during se during such operation. Designate one person to the correct directions. Never attempt to throw all, throw a rail. Always lo load a person in load so that the person can jump clear of the rail if it should fall. If there is any danger, operating personnel other than di the rail other than rail distributed along the track. Here it shows what is because they're cutting the rail with a power saw. They report the and um, sorry, if there's any danger of operating personal personnel falling over and distributed it along of the track, the report of locations is so they have become worn and mark the obstructions as a visual warning sign. 3.9.1.6 in the yard station of the Grand 
ground stocking rails and well out, well, well out of the way of operating personnel and in place convenient convenient of the distribution 3.9.2 distribution of the rails of distribution distribute the rails so they can be without unnecessary handling files 3.9.2 one place the rails down on figure at 3.35 of parallel rail within the track sufficient bearings prevalent banding swinging except for, except within their hazardous movement due to the vibration rail to the left adjacent to the track left lying on the side of the unless the ground is more than one feet below the top of the tie 319.12 rail is unloaded offset and the loading direction is placed in the is at place of the track allowing the suitable gaps of the length and 31912 proper lengths of the railroad of the road crossing stri station per platform bridges and other special special locations whether unloaded in a special convenient location whether it is not constituted obstruction 31912 minimized cutting of the new following rails shorter than that sh shorter than uh, sh Shorter than rails other than distributed in place provided by spacing insulated joint bars connections and classification three nineteen twenty two fifth five. No rail less than one half of the rail length shall be used in the main terra track except for the shorter rails not lesser than thirteen feet long. May be used temporary closures for connections of the turnouts three nineteen sixteen three nineteen two point six joint turnouts and fasting and should be unloaded and distributed in concrete and the rail except for small material must be left for the containers and until the time of the laying of the rail. Three twenty for reparation of the laying rail to bring bring the rail true line elevation of for laying on the new rail, particularly on the curves that are out of the line, no part of the tracks or track stru structure are used of the removed until the replacement is rail is ready for the installed. Fully flag protection, small order protection must be provided in case of when, where the rail is may be laid under the traffic. See figure 33 from above the details of the established low orders. 321 and the tie plates of the bearings. Tie, tie plates shall be fully uniform of the ties of the bearings on each side. Type tie shall be in the same place. 320 the curve straight and rails when in available burning of the pre curve of the sharp curves. Curvature must be uniform of the length of the rails. Straight rails are that have sharp crocks, crooks or bends. Plan placement of the rail accessory distributed in the bolts of whole place spikes and tie plates and tie place rail anchors and closes if possible to the site whether they be used and shortly before the rail is laid do not be pushed or pu not put out such articles and top ties in the cribs and when in tracking and in the use of 321 step in the line tracks never say it never lay long more than one rail more than rails and properly secured during the day of which they are laid and to prevent the damage to rails and fasting normal traffic utilize it utilize mechanical devices to lay the rails whenever they're possible there is most Possible for pre pre practical extreme care of the mo must be per exercised by personnel precluded serious personnel injury lifting and lowering rails by be done by back straights and checklists of the pertinent steps in the rail line rail laying files tamp loose and provide a good bearing under the new rail follow the standard spiking and bolting and ne apply the necessary rail anchored before splitting permitting the trains to pass over the rail see that the installation of the joints track circuits and spikes are supported as soon as possible insulating fibers of each are easily damaged lay rails on any on one at a time and to ensure the adjustment bring the rail squarely together against the suitable rail expansion gauge both of them before the spiking under special conditions certain departures are planned permissible in the areas of traffic and the trains come and content conveniently to be diverted and other traffic stretches and rail not over the thousand feet may be bolted together they align into the long may be long may be bolted together and they aligned into the place for allowance of expansion must be maintained in table D A D A and appendix D a request requisite rail expansion gauges are may remain until the rails set are set in the final position rail thirty figure thirty six thirty six shown in the section of rail being lined off the preparation of rail three twenty four point four never use a switch point to use to make temporary connections there is never ne there is a dangerous particle Dangerous practice provide holes in comp completing bolt and cut out according to standard driving drilling practices and and following ne ne new holes and drilled and figured in 337 punch and slotted and burned and within the torch they shot 
will not, shall not be drilled when the existing holes uh, between the existing holes the distances and the end of the rail will be center of the first bolt and should be at least twice the diameter of the hole for a distance between the center of the two holes of the same size should be four times the diameter of the hole in case of the different size of the distances should be three thirty at least three third quarters three and three quarters of times the diameter of the two hole the paint paint of the contact surfaces of all rails and angle bars of lubrication equal the black lubricating oil just before laying rod rails install starting the fiber and wood shims in between the engine adjacent rails and to ensure the proper sp space allowance of the expansion as indicated in table d10 here they've taken a rail fork and rail aligning it together um, this is a net rail rail drill. Here you see in three point three point twenty eight use a spike mechanical pneumatic screwdriver or some, sorry, use a spike ma mile or some mechanical spike driver to drive spikes. Spikes must be vertical square with the rail straightening spikes that are driven decreasing the holding power hold rails are against the spike when spiking gauge. You see driving the spike through the tie plate. You see driving with the spike of the mal. Power driven in with a screw spike driver. 321.9, the use of the spike per tangent track on the course of 6 degrees curvature radius 965 feet or more. Spike is staggered outside of the spike inside. The spikes on the opposite side of the end of the tie, relatively the same position of the tie, i.e. spaces should be V, a pattern of the V pointing at the direction of the heaviest traffic. The spike should, spike should be at least 2 inches by the end of the tie, edge of the tie. Where except where the tie is used, in which case the derivative of the spike holds. 321.10 occurs on the, the curves within more than six degrees curvature radius. It's less than 955 feet, and other critical points are two spikes of the gauge of the inside of the rail, one of the fuel side, outside of the six spikes per tie. When using the tie, ties are not used in place of one spike and cage side of two spikes of the field spike. Drive spikes are down and snugly but not tightly against the rail spike approximately one eighth of an inch should be between the head of the spike and being base flange of the rail the track spikes um these they are not to go um this one shows them across well you see your field side your gauge side and your field side without the tie plate with the tie plate the whole spike down the tie plate and double down 321.12 the gauge shall be done at least to every third tie when lying down the second of the rail second of the rail install, install rail anchors of the gauges when required while allowing traffic over the new track 321.14 the necessary to make the temporary connection passage of the train the union shall be closure rail shall not be less than other than 13 feet long and shall be connected to the rail new rail by a compromised joint in the rails in different sections of the connection rail with the full number of the poles of the of the required number of the spikes. 322, the rail joints, general rail requi general requirements, rail joints should be fulfilling and following requirements that should connect the rail so that they are active as continuous girder within the uniform, uniform surface of the alignment. The resistant deflection of the approach of the rail, which are they applied for the battered rail, it should be repaired and approved by the method of welding grinding 3.22 point joint point two to join lay rail joining at one opposite middle of the other end with the permissible variations of 3.22.21 except for the turnouts of paved road crossing staggering joints and should not be avoided very, very more than 30 inches of the center of the opposite rail preferably no more than 18 inches 322 do not locate the joints of this limits of the switch end Switch points opposite guard rail within six feet of the end of the out open floor of bridge bridges or trestles. Three twenty two. The bonded rails were in highway or train that signals the actual thorough track circuit of the patrol and fueling facilities, the ammunition and loading points and required guarding rail. Rail must be constantly bounded by a pin connected or welded bound bonding method applied for outer side of the railhead within the limits of the rail joint bars outside of the jo joint bars in the web or the rail pin connected to the point bolts pin connected bonds for the bond connecting of the bonds following the steps that are required 
properly pin connected bond relay between 23.1.1 drill holes in the head of the weld with the size of the lug he hugs on the end of the bounds wires dry lugs and the secure a firm fit 323 and 1 and 2 do not disconnect the bonding wires or reverse bonded rails within the electrical maintenance crew man in emergency with a broken rail and fro frogs need an immediate re repair and making as tight a connection as possible and notify electrical and out communication maintenance officers in the first possible opportunity 3.232 belt weld bond, welded bond and approved the method of welding bond and pin connected bonds where it is not pre more practical. 324 when available is either tooth for friction type of the rail saw for the cutting rails when any of these automatic tools are not available where all chisel automatic tools and all chisel su suffice in case of extreme emergency rail may be cut in the gas cutting tr torches and qualified operated torch cut rails and replaced as soon as the possible when 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 rails are cutting and gutting cutting short torches uh, suitable faces and eyes or other what other body protection must be afforded by a form of goggles face needles and fame proof gauntlet gloves and other protective devices preventive injury 324.1 rails to saw manufacturers instructions to follow in operation maintenance of mechanical saw general rules or the apply of the are mechanical cleans inspect our regular intervals proper adjustment to see the railroad maintenance crews take care of the handling operation of 324.2 rail chisels and when using the rail chisel strikers and the and handling the chisel must be faced to each other both must wear the prescribed goggles and chisel must be sharp and the head heady part of the rounded use a sledge on the might not might spot spot not a, not a spike mile Place the rail on the base, on the block of the base of the rail up in the block, the light distance of beyond the cut. Do not allow cutting on the base of the web or the rail. Do not drop the rails, expect expedited cutting of the chisel until the cutting is complete. 325.1 Installation joint bars installed in the full number of bolts and nuts and spring old washers and rails weighing over 75 pounds of yards outside of the bolts and nuts. Alternative between in the inside and out of the track joint bar installation. Keep joints tightly and prevented injury to the rail ends on standard hand hand and track when wrenches figure three forty four wrench a power wrench three forty five and discussed below. Take a wear and fishing spaces of rail joint bars replacing the bars oil and all track ball bolts when insulated in each type of the are they are tightened and recommended that they are bolts and oil and checked in at least one every three months and track bolted maintenance and the following practices are necessary to maintain the track bolts and applying no nuts by nuts on the track bolts flat on the side of the nuts shall be placed on the truck next to the spring washer 325.2.2 the applied tension should not be within range of 20 per 20,000 to 30,000 pounds per bolt for initial tightening and within a range of 15,000 to 25,000 pounds of subsequently tight the tightenings of mechanical torque wrenches and set, and set up accordance with manufacturer instructions 325.2.3 track bolt and should be retightened and is required preferably one week of one three months after the joint bar applied an interval one year thereafter after retightening the bolts is paved and after the waste wave based and engine engineered a and engineered a ju judgment and provided the non-destructive test and visual inspection of satisfaction more frequently tightening is unnecessary for the anomical less frequent tightening requires too high of the applied bolt tension to carry on the long longer period 325.2.4 corrosion corrosion resistant lubrication will be applied to the bolt threads of the application of the nuts this reduces the variation in the threading of the friction to promote the uniform uniformity of the tension obtained 326 compromised joints are used in whether the rails different in whether and sections are connected the bars are, must be conformed the way of the section of the, each rail of the connection the maintenance of the compromise and joint are the same of the joint bars in paragraph 325 through 27.1 specifications all spikes that must be replacement and repair rehabilitation should shall conform to the area of standards the they must be smooth straight within the well-formed heads of sharp points and Free within the next and cracks and ragged, ragged edges. Two figures two ten 
table D13, 327.2, the standard of 5 eighths and 6 inches of spike used in track spiking, except when the tracks are being shimmed and shimmed and skin, it spikes are 16, 6 inches in thick sh shim taken in 1 half inch tr intervals. No smaller spikes are required in lightweight substandard rail. 327.3, location, location of the sp Spike shall be in accordance with the figure three three forty one. <coughs> Using a hand wrench, three twenty eight bolt nuts and lock washers.